in part three of our webinar on managing G Suite identities with Azure AD, we'll be taking a look at configuring AIM Team uh, for facilitating device management for G Suite users. Uh, the topics we'll be highlighting include a review of a sample AIM Team Wi-Fi policy, uh, highlighting the granularity that can be achieved with AIM Team in place, and then an overview of available condition, conditions and controls once we do have AIM Team in place. So here we'll be looking at a Wi-Fi policy or a Wi-Fi configuration profile rather within Intune. Uh, the Wi-Fi type in this case is Enterprise. And the Wi-Fi name is just a generic school Wi-Fi. Uh, the connection name again, generic school Wi-Fi. And then the setting for automatically connecting to this SSID upon being within a, uh, a within range of it uh, will be set to on. Uh, rather, yes, for on. And then whether we want the device to be allowed to connect to uh, other preferred networks, if uh, that device has them, uh, we'll leave that as on as well. And then connecting to this network, even when it's not broadcasting to SSID, so even when the SSID is hitting, we'll set that to yes as well. And as we're not on a meter connection, we can go ahead and leave that as unrestricted, but we can of course change it if that were the case. And just an overview of uh, the mobile app management and mobile device management section of Intune uh, that can, of course, be configured on these G Suite identities uh, on the devices that students are using. We can manage just the applications, uh, just the data within those applications that are tied to our school, or we can choose to manage the entire device if it's a device that is provided by the school. And again, just another review of uh, certain conditions and controls that can be set in place, the blocking of access based on device state. Again, we alluded to that earlier with conditional access policies based on the, uh, the fact of whether the device is compliant or not compliant with policies that we specified in Intune. Uh, we can restrict access based on that compliance uh, to just certain resources. Uh, we can, of course, require MFA. Uh, force a password reset based on the user's risk, uh, whether the user's identity has been found to be uh, compromised in some way on the dark web. And then uh, we can, of course, uh, block certain applications based on their legacy status, uh, as those are less secure than modern authentication uh, applications. And that uh, concludes uh, part three of our webinar uh, in which we covered the configura configuration of Intune for facilitating device management for G Suite users.